So we saw a while ago that concepts like mean, variance and standard deviation can be can be corrupted very easily by if you have one or a small number of outliers or extreme points. So the immediate question is, are there something equivalent to mean variance and standard deviation in idea that do not have this problem? So for mean, we have something called median. So let's understand what a median is. And before we go and understand how to compute a median, what median is, let me show you that it has the behavior that we want. So I've written some simple code here where I have, so again, median can be computed very easily because NumPy has the function median. So my first value that I'm printing here is a median of all set of flowers. My second value that I'm printing here is the, is, is, is I'm taking all the set of values. I'm appending a value of 50, which is an extreme outlier, right? Because all my values of set petal lengths lie between one and two, right? All of my data points are here. I'm taking one extreme point, which is 50 here, and I'm adding it to it. And now I'm again computing median, right? We saw a while earlier that when we computed mean, this value without the outlier and with an outlier were significantly different. The third thing that I'm printing here is the median of Virginica's petal lengths. And the fourth one I'm printing is Versicolor's petal length. Now let's look at these four values. So if you just go slightly down in my prints, oh, you see these values. The, the, median, sepal, the median petal length for Setoza is 1.5. The median with outlier, this is with outlier. This is with outlier. But it's exactly same as without the outlier, right? This is the type of behavior that we wanted. And the, the Virginica and Versicolor have 5.55 and 4.35. Now these numbers 1.5, 5.55 and 4.35 are very close to the values of mean that we saw a while ago. So if you look at these numbers of means, so just ignore this, this is with outlier, which is significantly different for the mean without the outlier. But here we had 1.55, 5.55 and 4.35, which is very similar to these numbers. So the median value, we'll see how, it, how to compute it quickly, but the median value tends to, median values for all of them tends to look very similar to your mean which means it's intuitively it's very similar to a mean or central tendency. And we talked earlier about mean being a central tendency value, right? But it has the nice property that with one outlier or a small number of outliers, the value you get is very similar to the value you get without the outlier. Now let's go and understand how to compute the median. Now, okay. So let's assume I'm given, let's say seven numbers, okay, or seven observations. I'm just picking a simple example here. Let's assume I'm given 1, 1 1.2, 1.1, 2.1, 1.8, uh, so five numbers, 1.6 and 1.2. So let's assume this is my set of, this is my x, okay? This is my set of observations for a variable x, okay? This could be your petal lines, it could be your sepal length, anything, so a physical observation. Now the median of that is computed as follows. First step is I sort these values sort them in increasing or decreasing order, any order. I'll just choose increasing order for now, right? So if I sort them, what I get is 1, 1 1.1, 1. 1. Uh, I have 1.2, I again have 1.2, I have 1.6, 1 1.8 1. and 2.1, right? So these are the values I have. This is my first number, my second number, third number, fourth number, fifth number, sixth number and seventh number. So once I've sorted them, pick the middle value pick the middle value. That's the second step. It's a very, so of my seven values, what is the middle value? I would say that fourth is my middle value because I have three numbers to the left of this and three numbers to the right of it. And what is the fourth value? And four is nothing but it's, since seven is an odd number, what I'm doing is I'm doing seven plus one by two. Since seven is odd, we'll see what happens if the number of data points is even, right? Here seven is an odd number. So all I'm doing is if I have n numbers, I'll just do n plus one by two, and that will tell me the index. So these are the indices, right? At, at first index, I have 0 0.1, at second index, I have 1.1, third index, I have 1.2, so on and so forth. So my central value here is 1.2. Now, why is this useful? Now I would declare that my middle value is my median. So my median of x, median of x is nothing but 1.2. Very simple concept. Basically, what you do is basically you sort the numbers and pick the middle value. Now the immediate question you might have is what if I have uh, what if I have a uh, even number of points? Let's let's do a simple experiment here. So imagine if I have one more point here, which is 1.8. Let's assume, right? Then 
uh, how will my sorting look like my sorting will look like this 1 1 1.1 1.2 1.2 1.6 1.8 again 1.8 and 2.1 this is my first number my second number my third number my fourth number fifth sixth seventh and eighth and here 8 is an even number so my n plus 1 by 2 will not work because 8 plus 1 by 2 is 4 and half and there is no 4 and half here right so what we do is is, is a simple hack right uh, so we know that the central number is somewhere here between 4 and 5 because between because there are four numbers here and there are four numbers here but there is no 4.5 value right so what i do is i take the fourth value and fifth value and compute the simple mean of both of them right my fourth value is 1.2 my fifth value is 1.6 so what is the average of both of them 1.4 so i will declare that my median of all my green points all my green points here my median of x i'll declare it to be 1.4 so if n is even basically what you do is you take n by 2 point uh, the point at n by 2 index and n by 2 plus 1 index and you take the average of both of them so n by 2 here is nothing but the fourth point n by 2 plus 1 is nothing but the fifth point and you took the simple average of both of these points which is 1.4 that's how you compute median now the immediate question i have is why is median not getting corrupted by an outlier again let's look at a bunch of numbers right so let's assume i have 1 1.1 1.2 1.4 1.6 1 2 3 4 5 1 point i'm just putting them in increasing order to start with right so this is already sorted right so this is index 1 index 2 index 3 4 5 6 7 what is the central value here 4 right so if my x is just these numbers my median is 1.4 now let's create a new data set which is x dash which is exactly the same numbers right i'm just copying the same numbers 1.4 1.6 1.6 1.0 let's say 1.8 and let's assume i have a number which is 56 obviously this is an outlier number because all these numbers are around between 1 and 2 except this number this is your outlier right or this is your erroneous point now what we did the difference between x and x dash is nothing but just this one observation now we know that the median of x right we know that the median of x we know that the median of x is 1.4 my question is what is the median of x dash right now we have how many indices 3 4 5 6 7 8 so i have to take the fourth and fifth values these two and i have to compute the average of both of them the average of both of them is 1.5 so the median of x dash is 1.5 which is very similar to your mean right this is this is very similar so what's happening here is by just adding one point instead of taking the fourth value you're taking the average between the fourth and fifth value right the one nice property about median is if you have a small number of erroneous points or outliers it can't corrupt your value of median much next question is what if out of the seven values four of them are wrong let's take the extreme case right so let's assume let's define a new x Let's assume I have 1, 1.1, 1, 1, 1.2, 5, 10, 20, and 30. Right? Here, what's happening here is I again have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 points. But I have more than half of my points which are corrupted. I have 7 points and I have 4 points, let's assume, that are corrupted. Let's assume all these are corrupted. Okay? All these are good points or clean points okay so if more than 50 percent of my points are corrupted what is the mean of x double dash here I'll, let me call this x double dash so the median of x double dash okay is five is uh, is five right because the central value is four and so if more than 50 percent of your points are corrupted only then median gets corrupted right this, this is a very interesting observation so some people could argue that these are the clean points and these are the outlier points so the way you look at it so for me for computation of median as long as less than 50 percent of your points are corrupted your median will still remain sensible and sane unlike your mean okay so median is the equivalent of mean and it's very very simple to compute all you have to do is simply sort sort and pick the middle value extremely simple 